First alert weather forecast with weathercaster Taylor Begley. Well, today was warmer than yesterday. We've had a cool week compared to where we should be for this time of year, but today right near seasonal average. The warming trend has started yesterday. We were at 97 in Palm Springs today 104 and our temperature still hanging out in the triple digits for us on the Coachella Valley floor dropping to 99 for Desert Hot Springs right now. Cooler up on the high desert 88 for Yucca Valley and as well as through the pass 85 in Beaumont and 89 over in Banning right now. As for those winds, a light breeze for some of us on the Valley floor to 11 miles per hour in Cathedral City, 18 miles per hour for Palm Springs and a little bit gustier through the pass. 30 miles per hour uh, right now in Whitewater. As for our dew points, we are on the drier side in the 20s, 30s, even some teens. 17 for Cathedral City in the 20s on the high desert as well. So dry conditions sticking with us and we are going to be heating up. So we're tracking a heat wave because of this high pressure here. If we take a look at the next couple of days. Here's today. Then we move into Saturday and we see this high pressure continuing to build and really just staying in place and continuing to build as we head into Monday and in, or into Sunday and temperatures are going to increase each day until next week when we get our excessive heat. So an excessive heat warning in place areas shaded in pink, which includes our area and to areas or for areas to the west, we're tracking an excessive heat watch. So the pink is the excessive heat warning, the red, the excessive heat watch, and it's from Monday. Uh, through Friday the 18th. So Monday next week through Friday, also a first alert a weather alert day in place for those days. Temperatures could reach up to 120 degrees in the afternoon, increasing the risk for heat illness, especially for those who work outside. So remember to stay safe in the heat, stay in that air conditioning. If you can reduce your time in the sun, drink plenty of water. And if you are outside, Try to take those frequent shade breaks and do your outdoor activities or work in the mornings or in the evenings when the sun is going down because those are going to be the cooler parts of the day, especially in the morning. Check on your elderly kids and pets as well. Now as for the rest of this evening, enjoy it because we are near seasonal for the rest of the evening. Clear skies overhead 97 by 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock 93, dropping into the 80s by 9 p.m. with those northwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour and 20% humidity, 87 degrees by the 10 o'clock hour. Taking a look at your Comfort Air 7 day forecast, those temperatures just keep climbing. 108 for your Saturday, Sunday at 111. And then we are tracking temperatures in the one teens for the rest of next week. All of those days under a first alert weather alert with temperatures potentially reaching to 120 degrees. The hottest day is looking to be Wednesday and Thursday before we see any little bit of a cool down. So John, Peter, it is going to be hot out there. Brace mm. yourselves and stay safe. All right, we'll find out who the real desert rats are very quickly. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we will.